Hey, hi all. In this video, we will be discussing about with sharing and without sharing in Salesforce. So first, talking about with sharing, we use the we use with sharing keywords when declaring a class to enforce the sharing rules that apply on the current user. The syntax for that is public with sharing. With sharing will be the keyword. It's a reserved keyword. Then the class, it's a reserved keyword, and then the class name. In this example, it's sharing class. Then we have to put a code. If in the code we have SQL queries, or if we are doing something with the records, getting records or doing uh, accessing the records, it will enforce the sharing settings which we have configured or which we have set up in our Salesforce org might be a different sharing rules we uh, we might have different sharing settings or if the record is shared manually with the particular user who is running that particular class in that context then moving ahead is without sharing we use the without sharing keyword when declaring a class to ensure that the sharing rules are not forced for the current user the syntax is same like uh, only the without will be there like public without sharing is the keyword then class and then the class name in this case it's no sharing it will run in the system mode because it's without sharing so it will not enforce or respect the sharing rules which you have set up in your org it will run in the system mode and it will have access to all the records irrespective and uh, generally uh, in the interview it's asked like if you have a trigger if you want the trigger to run in uh, if you want to enforce the sharing settings on a particular trigger or while running a trigger then how you can achieve that so if uh, as as we all as we all are aware of like uh, like the trigger should be logicless and there should be a handler class to that and a helper class to that so when we will write a helper class which will be invoked by that particular which will be invoked by that particular trigger then that class should be declared with sharing then it will enforce all the sharing rules and all the sharing settings in that way the trigger will run into user mode not in the system default by default trigger runs into the system mode so this type means this is a interview question which is basically uh, or generally asked uh, in terms of like uh, how we can run trigger into user mode so that's all for with sharing and without sharing and uh, in the next or in the up upcoming videos we will be dealing with some of the examples uh, or writing some apex code with the same thank you have a nice day